Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I can't believe that this rag won a Pulitzer Prize. How do these people, how do these people manage to win Pulitzer Prizes when they're this stupid? Go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, because we're going to have fun. Decades ago, when Philip H. Lieberman was soaking in the bathtub and listening to the radio, he heard anthropologists learn Isley ponder an evolutionary puzzle. Why couldn't monkeys talk? If you can't figure that out, you're a hurting unit. Uh, like us, our social primates, intelligent and certainly not quiet, Rhesus macaques grunt, coo, screech, and scream. Infant macaques make sounds known as geckers. Despite the grunting and geckering, though no other primates, not even chimpanzees and bonobos, our nearest ape relatives can make the well and consonant sounds we know as speech. You scientists can't figure this out, huh? Now, look at the writer. The writer is from uh, one of the snakes in the grass. Ben Garino from the Washington Post. So that tells you uh, one thing. This is liberalism. The mental disorder of liberalism. Lieberman and Professor Amaritus of Anthropology at Brown University in Rhode Island, got out of the tub and took the puzzle with him in groundbreaking experiments with Reese's macaques in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Lieberman and his colleagues pinned the problem to monkey throats. They conclude that macaques lack the sufficient supraphyngeal vocal tract space in human begin men's at the mouth and follows the hump of the tongue into the throat. Even if a monkey had brain had the correct wiring for speech, the monkey vocal tract simply couldn't produce adequate sounds to talk. I don't know, our scientists uh, seem to be able to do that, so uh So why couldn't monkeys uh, I mean, I'm thinking maybe the monkeys are more intelligent than our scientists in many cases. The vocal track explanation caught on, appearing in textbooks and even a science comic book. So now we're doing science by comic book. Unbelievable. Recently, what seems like a whimsical question why can't monkeys talk has turned into a serious he had a debate against four former collaborators. The Sunder Fitchin and colleagues whose published paper in Science Advances and announced his counter punch to the title Monkey Vocal Tracks are Speed Trevi. On Friday a pair of not the vocal tracks, idiots. On Friday a pair of reports published in the same journal advance. The match surrounds three and four with Lieberman's reply and a response by Fitch and others to other authors of the summer study. And these morons go on and on. It's too long to read. So I'm going to explain this to you scientists. Listen closely. Listen closely, or you're going to go to the corner wearing a dunce cap, you idiots. It isn't their vocal cords. It isn't their voice tracks. It isn't their mouths. It isn't their tongues. They can't talk because they're animals. I know they're intelligent. I'll never talk badly about you know, a monkey, I'll never say that they aren't intelligent. But they're not intelligent like us. They don't talk because they're animals. They do everything on instinct. Can't you people understand this? 
Are you th this connected? This disconnected from reality? You can't figure this out. They're animals. I don't know why this is so hard. And they're saying they're talking about their, uh, you know, animals. Um, tongues and voice boxes and they're animals. They don't have speech. And they're not our ancestors and they're not our relatives. They're crying out, wow, what is wrong with you people? Thanks, so there's too much here to read, read it all, but, uh, if you scientists can't figure it out, Here's your assignment. I want you scientists to write 100,000 times monkeys are animals. They cannot talk like humans. Gee, wait. Is that hard enough? Is that too difficult to understand? Do these people need research money? They're not our kinfolk, they're animals. 